Thank you very much. Um, good evening to all of you, Reverend Fathers, Dr. Kishu Gomez, my friend and whom some I have always looked up to, uh, Principal of Mahanama College and all distinguished guests and my dear Wushu masters who have practiced with me during school time uh, and who still continue to practice and my dear students. Um, so it's a great honor to speak to all of you today and if you look at that video, I think one of the greatest satisfactions that we get actually is practicing with children. And it is further enhanced when you get to practice with your own son. Um, today is a special day, as uh, Dulanjali explained. Today is uh, World International Children's Day. Then we have uh, the Chinese Day as well, Qigong. So uh, all of these have culminated in us coming together. And why are we here today? Because of Wushu. We are in different fields, doing different things, but we have one thing in common, and it has brought all of us together. So, as parents, one of the most, or the only thing, why do we live? I would say most of you would say, I'm doing this for my family, for my children. I think all of you would agree with me with that point, right? That is progress, that is development, and that's how nations become great nations. And as parents, what do we want? Our children to do well. And I think all of you all who are here have put that extra effort into it. If I go back 20 years, and I fondly remember this, our parents didn't want us to do martial arts. They thought it was not good for your education or it was not up to the social strata. But today, and I think Leel Master will explain, all the calls he gets from professionals and academics are saying, can you help my son or daughter? They are uh, probably good in their studies, but as our friend Mario explained, today the addiction is a different addiction. It's a device. They are hooked on to devices. And we need to get them away from devices and give them the life skills. And if you see, um, again, you know, Dr. Kishu Gomez, whom I know from school days, whom I have looked up to, why has he achieved his pinnacle? You know, the youngest multinational CEO managing director. And I am waiting for his speech. But it was also due to his sports and his discipline. And when we did Wushu, a lot of people think, okay, my child is doing Wushu, he won't have time for studies. You know, I have one of my colleagues and Wushu practitioners, Eranga. You know, he did basketball at national level, he did Wushu at national level, he went to University of Moratua, and he's doing an absolutely great career at MAs. So, I think we need to break down these barriers, and I'm absolutely honored to be with Mario and Lil Master and my colleagues in this effort of creating this ripple effect in our economy and, and letting parents and children know the value of it. Now, we have students who are studying and studying. They need a change. They need a break. We all know if you just keep working the same muscle, it will not grow. You need to rest that muscle. And things like Wushu, Qigong, Tai Chi, some of these may be new to you, but uh, believe me, uh, you can take a bit of time and also look it up and, and you have something that we didn't have. You have YouTube. We didn't have, when we did nationals, we didn't have how to see the form. And Leel Master would agree with me. We, it was very rare we got to see a video on a VHS and then we would go and participate. Today, children have it on their phone and if they really want, they can look it up. I tell my son, anything you want to learn, you have it on YouTube, anything. Anything will give you that education. So you need to know how to use it. So if we go to Mario, I want to take a few minutes to talk about Mario. Um, you know, Mario's passion to children to fight against addiction, to protect the young generation is phenomenal. I only got to know Mario by just by incidents. I have not known Mario. And why I respect and I like him? He doesn't know me, but he knew my son. He told Leel Master, we are doing the National Olympic song. 
you know, let's get together all the children, let's give everyone a chance. So I just observed. And all these children from different strata of society were given the same opportunity. Now that's a lovely thing in a country like Sri Lanka, right? You need to be connected, you need to know that person, this person, sometimes even to get an opportunity. No. I think true talent, meritocracy is what we advocate. And then um, substance abuse. It's a taboo subject, but it is a real thing. How do we help our children? In my age, when I was young, I was quite naughty, uh, and my parents will be there to tell you that. But um, Wushu gave us that discipline, you know, from um, avoiding alcohol to smoking to various other substances. We were more busy with our practices and focusing on progressing in strengthening ourselves. And another point which Dulanjali Chach was right, you know, children, there are different sports and not everyone can be a national cricketer, not everyone can be in some area. But we are living examples where if you give the passion and the vision and, and the intelligence to portray yourself and carry yourself through, you can actually achieve phenomenal targets. One of the things I tell my son, I started Bushu at his age and I'm not showing off, I'm just telling you because of the opportunity. When I was doing O-levels, I practiced with Leel Master, he was kind enough to train me and I, I trained really hard. I was teaching A-level students. I had A-level students learning from an O-level guy. So that's the level of discipline we had and it just opened up, you know, you're just, everyone you see is, you know, these are average human beings. You are not born with supernatural strength and you can't fly and all that. But believe me, you can do some good flying kicks if you practice. It's just that initially you can't jump up, but afterwards you will have all your smooth flow of actions and some of these things are quite natural. Again, uh, just a thought, I have never fought with anyone in my life, honestly. And my, I tell my son, the objective Leel Master we all tell is self-defense. I have used it probably twice or thrice. Once when two people tried to rob my wife with a knife, I got both of them down and got them to the cop station. I protected my mother when someone tried to come into the house and again do something. So at least you use it in the right spirit, right, if you really talk about it. And then the other angle is the psychology of it, right. It gives you, uh, as I said, and, and again, you know, Dr. Kishu and I have a lot, of, lot in common. We worked, I still work in an American organization. You need to be agile and you need to be flexible to meet challenges. Wushu gives you that, you know. We will, any organization will like to see young people who have a career vision put their hand up for challenging situations. And you should be able to execute it with passion and see it through. The, the lasting power, the strength, all these things are in Wushu. And I'm so happy, I mean, I did this uh, probably 35, 37 years ago and, and then did the nationals in 94, but still I can participate and do this and it gave us a molding in character. Now I always tell my children, I mean all of you also, today's International Children's Day, if you can get your children to read books from Dale Carnegie, these are over 100 years old, but the same principles, the same fundamentals apply. If you want to progress in your life, how to have courage, how to win confidence, how to network with people, how to be helpful. And you don't, please, don't be plastic. This country, we all know who is plastic and who is not. You need to help people with a genuine heart. And that is where your fundamentals of religion, your parents, all of that comes through. And Mario, tribute to you, tribute to your parents, tribute to your religion, tribute to your school, you have molded to become a selfless person. You are doing a phenomenal job in spreading kindness, love, opportunity for the younger generation. We take three months ago where was Sri Lanka. See the future. I personally don't think people need to migrate out of Sri Lanka. We need to invest in this country. We need to have the right people leading this country. And people with good repute. Basic principles, no corruption, don't bribe anyone, do what is right, help someone. If you see something wrong, 
please don't be scared stand up and say no these are the type of values we have learned in wushu and what is kung fu and what is wushu my son keeps asking both are the same so the chinese use the word wushu wu means martial arts or military shu means arts wushu means kung fu it's the same thing so in our young age in tv you saw kung fu right i'm sure most of you the parents would have watched kung fu that was one of the founding things that got me interested in this because this grasshopper the kindness shown by the elderly monk to look after this child whose parents were not there and who is very weak how he emerged and how he came to help people how he came to protect people this is in our blood and this is what we call compassion kindness so it's a universal thing it's not bound by one sect or one religion everyone can practice it and everyone can do that then a little bit on qigong lot of people don't know what qigong is again uh, look it up wushu and qigong have 4000 years history about 2600 bc is when they started a lot of you have heard of yoga uh, that's because we are neighboring to india but all of things are interrelated and uh, we even in sri lanka we have our own uh, martial arts called angampura and you will be amazed how how very close these techniques are and we used to have people coming in ships and you know so uh, there is a interrelation in these areas as well uh, and on wushu uh, there are there are two sects one is taolu and one is sanda and today we have uh, again a, a former national champion and who has gone international won awards uh, eranga is here and i know couple of others who have done sanda at an international level and wushu uh, on the taolu side is Uh, basically techniques so you have long range shadow boxing short range shadow boxing nan chuan chen chuan you have broad sword sword stick spear um i am deeply honored that i was able to learn most of this i know very little because wushu is so much and there are way better masters but we are humble to learn this and no no one other than leel master and and i'm so happy that my son is in the second generation learning it and uh, mario uh has become such a keen student i think he is going to excel all of us over the last two years i have seen him practice every day with the children motivating them uh, guiding them and giving insights so so a lot of uh, good things that is happening and as parents please uh try and make i i went to a christ catholic school i am from saint sebastians uh and try and make your child a rounded person I have the principal of Mahanama College here, and he has really helped. Uh, you know, the school wushu and Lil Master keeps telling about how you have supported sir, and we have professor here. You know, in terms of supporting and guiding the wushu and you know Chi Gong. Uh, you know, thank you and you know encouraging the children to do it. We as parents, again, if you read books, I would please encourage you. You have to get your children to read books. That's how. That's how you know you can become international, and that's how you can you can compete at the national uh, global level. get them to read books if they read they can acquire intelligence and they can pursue and out better anyone else again another example we were really bad sri lanka right but asia cup netball championship how do you feel overnight we felt energized right now the beauty of that was the sri lanka team it was team it was a team concept get them to be team players you can achieve things which are phenomenal individual brilliance team excellence teams can achieve things which are phenomenal so as parents i think on this uh, beautiful day you know Inter international children's day uh, i know we all live our lives for our children i mean to 99% i would say that is the satisfaction we get please uh give them the right values make them interested in sports whatever it is as as lil master said we all say if someone says this is better than that please you are you are touching ego ego is not in not in wushu we don't have that there may be better other forms and all that but get your children involved in a good discipline this will go on till you saw the we have ladies who are practicing into their 90s chi gong and i was really amazed uh, my mother had a cardiac arrest issue and one of the leading cardiologists 
he said, have you heard of Tai Chi? I was like super amazed. I said, thank you. I have heard of it. I know a bit of it. I will also start working with my mother. And I'm getting her to do a few things on her own. So uh, lifelong lessons, lifelong practice, and as Mario has emphasized, li lifelong protection. Self-defense is number one. And then you get into confidence and then you go into execution. And um, a bit on the education side, because I know every mother and father wants their children to excel in education. Uh, please, yes, they have to study. And I, I mean, my wife and I have a challenge trying to get our 14-year-old son to study in one place for two hours. He just doesn't. He, you know, that's the age. So, but you have to study. And one of the things that can help them is doing a good sport, right? Practicing uh, martial art like this and having that self-discipline. Um, so a lot of deep thoughts that we wanted to share with you. Uh, and uh, Mario Dulanji and, and you know, uh, Mario's mother, you know, um, you know, thank you very much. I think Mario has done a, a wonderful uh, effort of uh, spreading, spreading the good word and spreading the good qualities and spreading the good uh, talents and helping people to emerge. So I wish you all the best. And uh, thank you very much for hearing me out. Thank you. I think I have zero doubts after that. I learned a lot. So thank you so much, Mr. Kavinda, for that thought-provoking delivery.